Hey, Dave Knight here from 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. We are, uh, thought, uh, today's, uh, what is today? Today's Thursday, August 6th, 2020. Here's my short side trade. Just want to, we'll talk about a little bit later. I just wanted to, uh, to show it right now if it does work out, uh, really good. Uh, we have been at 42.65 on several different occasions. It pushed off of it, uh, even the fourth time up pushed off so it looks like we have a temporary top in the market right now um, don't know if it'll last or not I don't know if we'll push off a pivot and then make a new high um, what I do know is that I'll try to maximize profit on the trade as best I can um, And if we get lucky, now target that I'm looking for is a 6P target today, and that brings it in. And the closer that I can get, uh, actually, the number that I'm really looking for, if we had a nice run, is 41.20 on the GAN number, uh, the square of nine magic number, the 137.5 degree angle. The closest that I can get to 41.20, not going over, is 41.29 today on my um, 6p uh, that brings it to 6p now obviously I'll take a lot less than that uh, but that's the target that I'm after and that would be 136 uh, tick target uh, that could possibly be hit today uh, based upon the current volatility of the market that has shown that it goes roughly uh, on average 23 ticks per per P before turning or making any decisions right now or another way of looking at it is 19 ticks so between 19 to 23 ticks right now 18 to 23 before making any decision one way or the other which way it wants to go that's the current volatility uh, or velocity if you want to look at it a different way of the market Now all this could be just for show, and we go up to new highs. But what I I want to show why do I like the trade itself? Well, we're in a range. We're inside a trading range. We've pushed off the 50% uh, Fibonacci number right here on the morning, and we made it up a little bit higher than this demand area right here. But we stuck back to this demand area back in here now there's another demand area up here against the highs so obviously if it takes you out here most likely it's going up to here up to the r1 line so uh, you know it, it's worth the trade itself based upon the upward mobility of the market and then a possible retracement coming back the other way um, what do i mean well fibonacci has a crazy thing of of the extension that always goes the other direction right so another way of looking at it would be here's your Fibonacci extension heading the other direction with the hundred percent line bring it down here to the 40 it looks like what 4074 so that's a possible target on the market right now if it wants to roll over here now, whether it does it or not, well, that's kind of not the point. It's not everything in trade trading is like it's not like science, man. You don't science and trading just don't mix together too well. It's a uh, art more than it's a science. I mean, we can do our best to use our statistics to gain an edge. We we still at the end of the day, you have to take a position in the market if you want to make money. And there's no other way. You have to. Uh, lay your money or whatever you want to say at this point in, in, in this kind of environment being a top set trader you know uh, it's 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 basically let's call it what it is I mean it's you're I'm paying for the privilege to trade to move to real money but even to that point you know having skin in the game is still important so in this case you know having my hundred and fifty dollar 
per month plus a reset if I want it available to me try to stay within those parameters in any given month so I don't add to the money that Top Step Trader collects from me that's the overall goal in any rolling 30 days pretty much so what we know about right now is that we did not break down hard and fast most likely we're going to go make a new high or a, a, excuse me a new swing high a new high on that supposed trading session Alright, so I'm going to pause here and I'll be back if it runs me out and make new highs or we get the uh, the scroll gets the nut today and I, I get a big profit. Alright, so we've got a winning trade on the books here. Now it comes down to how much profit are we do we want to pull out of it um, and where do we want to uh, place our stop. This is always the biggest question of how much profit is effectively a good profit uh, based upon observation right now I'm actually uh, having a discussion with a science person about fact versus observation is what the synopsis of it over like the drug HCQ and, um, and we were talking well anyway so some things are known some things are unknown um, some things are fact, some things are observable fact, some things are just into the realm of we don't know, but just saying something is debunked doesn't make it debunked, in my humble opinion. Um, it's like, you know, uh, my example that I used is like looking up and saying the sky is blue, but ignoring all the big fluffy white clouds that are, that are up there too. Just saying something is something doesn't make it so. Uh, for instance, there are very intelligent people on both sides of this argument that believe HCQ is effective and on the other side of the argument where they believe HCQ is ineffective. And they're, they're very intelligent people. That's an observable fact that you can say, okay, that's something that we do know. Uh, see that I'm trying to debate about here at Pivot Point. Um, I believe if we get honestly if we come back to pivot it, it, it's probably going to grind itself out here and that's probably about really as close as I want to be to the market right now that'll pull us uh, looks like what 22 23 ticks on this move right now um, off the 42.65 level so and a lot of this has to do with being a trader right to question things that are are what well, because we live in a world that, that is based upon odds. The odds of this trade working out versus this trade not working out. We live in a world that, that you have to question things. You have to, um, you know, put questions towards authority. I mean, uh, he went on as far as calling, I mean, where, where I got upset with this particular individual is saying that you know throwing things out like uh, you must probably you probably also think that the earth is flat well uh, you know uh, that just opened up a can of worms in the Pandora's box that I flung out a bunch of different information that from my observable facts that I have seen with my own eyes I haven't been up to the heavens to see down uh, what I do know is a couple things that I've seen from observable facts I know if you go down to the beach line, you take a pair of binoculars and uh, you take a telescope, you can focus in on a ship um, with your binoculars after your eye loses sight of it. And then when your binoculars start to fade, you can take the telescope and you can focus in. That's an observable fact that I have seen. Uh, taking that ship. Now there's other ships that look like they're over the horizon. So is it because of the power of magnification? I can't bring the other ones into it into a, a, a effectively but 
the, the one ship I can, but the curve should have been seen at uh, some point. Now, is it a mirage? Is it a mirror? Why is it other times that, um, that people have observed, here's another observable fact, across from Chicago and Lake Michigan, which is 57 miles across from one side to the other, can they see it when conditions are perfect, the whole city line of Chicago from the baseline? I don't know. I know that it's uh, 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 that they've tried to explain it away by science, but science doesn't have all the answers, just like the HCQ question that we have in front of us. There are very intelligent people that believe things on the other side. I do believe in what the Bible says, though. The Bible talks about four corners of the earth being held back. It talks of in Genesis about a firmament. There, there's this. There's this land between the land. I mean, uh, is it a dome? I don't know. No one's been high enough. Have we been to the moon? Have we not? You know, there, it's stuff that's not going to save my soul, so therefore I don't worry about it. It's, for instance, like in my church, we don't have, have instrumental music, but I don't believe everybody that, that, that has instrumental music is going to hell just because they have instrumental music in their church. That's an irrelevant observational fact that my church only uses uh, uh, the voices of people where other churches use organs and pianos and trumpets and drums and full band. That kind of stuff is not going to save you in him, basically. Uh, it's stuff that we can just disagree with, but still have the same faith that there is a God, there is a creator, this place was put on earth, it, it, it wasn't just formed out of evolution. We didn't come from apes. You know, all the other stuff that we can have common ground on, we can believe in certain things and say, well, this is true, this is not. We can have an observable fact like Mount St. Helens that showed that uh, a mini um, uh, Grand Canyon can be formed in a matter of a day or two just because the water recedes and shows it that there is strata that, that forms itself from heaviest to lowest in, in, in molecules or whatever you want to call it, is, and it forms this sediment that could look as though it was put there millions and millions of years ago because of the looking at the Grand Canyon versus this mini Grand Canyon of the receding waters of Mount St. Saint, Saint Helens. Why is it that it is on record as an amateur rocket team launches a rocket straight up, but NASA always shows their rockets in a curved feature, and they always launch them from like Florida and whatnot over the ocean. Now, do they land them out there in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle? And uh, that's why they just never get up there. Why is it that, that, that no one's been able to debunk the 86, uh, 1986 Challenger crash of the people that have been shown that possibly, possibly are living too are saying that they're twins, uh, identical twins of the other person themselves. Why is it that 73 miles up on this amateur rocket that it goes up and it goes like Speedy Gonzales and, and it hits something and stops? It goes from Speedy Gonzales to zero in a, in a snap of your finger. These are observable facts that you can see. These are things that there was no fisheye lens and the horizon looked flat. I don't know the answers to all this stuff. But what I do know is that the older I get, the more that I do not know. Just as in trading, the more that I know, the more I don't know. So I just try to do the best I can with the knowledge that I have and allow those that have the knowledge that are greater than me to do better than I do. That's that's the way. Or there are smarter people in the world than I am. What I can see by observation is that, that like for instance, this argument on HCQ, hydro, hydroxychloroquine, is, is a hot tested debate by very intelligent people that believe exactly the opposite of each other. But those that believe on one side can't see the other side sometimes because they are so politically motivated for instance, this individual that's so hardline left that that you know they he pretty much believes everything that's been spoon-fed from him from the of a World Health Organization, where other countries 
that don't follow the advice of the WHO have lower death rates, for instance, Russia and some of these other countries, that show that their data that comes from their own scientific observations and studies show that, that leading with the drug HCQ works better in their realm. I don't know. What I do know is I, as the older I get, the more that I don't know. And the more I trust that God has all the answers. And it's in that book that's called the Bible, believe it or not. And those that want to deny that, there's going to be a reckoning at some point where we're all going to find out who's true, what's right, what's wrong. There's either a heaven and or a hell, or there's not afterlife. What side of that debate do you want to be on? Well, I want to be on the debate and on the side of the apostles that even though they had the chance to disown their Lord, they didn't. And for instance, it has been shown that Peter was crucified upside down because he did not feel worthy to be crucified as his Lord was. Not one of the apostles disowned the Lord. The only one that was shown to show go to older life was the Apostle John, who wrote the book of Revelation and obviously the, the Gospel of John as well. So why is it that the Bible has been translated over and it been most debated and mo it, it, when you look back at, at the, the source of why everything is the way it is, then you obviously, when you come from a person of faith and a person of observation, you understand that the devil is powerful, he's intelligent, and he has very, very good sources that he can use to sow the, content, the, the contentious beliefs that makes people question the exact opposite of what possibly is true. Is the earth flat? Is it not? What I can tell you on this is NASA has been shown on many occasions of green screening things and pretending that they're somewhere that they're not. It's just the way it is. They have shown earth as a picture that has different land masses over different years and they say it's a composite Im image. They can't take an image of the earth to this day we still don't know what the Earth looks like from a picture taken from space, turned back to Earth. But we have all these beautiful pictures of these planets. But, you know, the crazy thing about all these beautiful pictures of these planets is they're still rendered objects that are in the eye that someone's just taken some artistic belief in the center and been able to draw it in to a certain degree. For instance, if you look at Jupiter. But the Earth... Is, is something that we should be able to turn around and see if we've been, you know, all these places that the land masses should be the same. They shouldn't be on one picture from 2007 smaller than the 2012 picture or vice versa. You know, it, there's so much. that, And these are facts that are out there that when you research all this stuff, you think, wow, what's true? What is not true? It, it really comes down to what you believe in the end right what do you believe is true what I believe in true is trading is the more I learn about trading the more I figure out how much I don't know and that's where wisdom kicks in right wisdom kicks in and when wisdom kicks in knowledge can increase and when your knowledge can increase now who gives you wisdom according to the Bible according to God if you ask for wisdom those that believe he gives generously to. Why is it that some people are cured of cancer and others are not? Well, the Bible talks about the, the, pow the power of prayer. It talks about the power of prayer and the coming from a person that has a righteous intent uh, behind their message. Those that have power, in other words. Why is it? Why, why, why? There's so many different questions that we can go round and around and around about. Anyway, I sidetracked, and we've got knocked out of the trade. It looks like with all things being told at plus 25 ticks. The market came back, went to pivot, and um, got knocked us out. So, like I said in the very beginning of this conversation, is sometimes you just don't know where to place your stop. I mean, observable fact, I mean, obviously, if I know that this would have been the low of the trading movement, I would want to have my stop right there and maximize my profit. 
But right here, looking at volume, there's no indication that that move was over. Looking here, there was no indication really that the move is over. Now, obviously, the, the observable fact is that we see these low, that, that this lows coming here were shown to be moving the other direction. But, you know, I mean, you're on one side of the trade. You can't be on both sides of the trade. Well, you could be with the spread trade, but then that means you're making the middle. So, in other words, you have a trade here and a trade here, and as long as it stays in between these two points, well, you know, uh, you, you, you have a max profit target that you can hit. But once you get above your one side, you start losing, and when you get below the other side, you start losing on that side too. So, you know, there's there uh, the, the definition, just strictly speaking, of a spread trade is there's a maximum profit that you can make by spreading. Maybe, maybe I, I don't know. No, that's not completely true. But you, there's there. Oh. See, these are the questions that just plague me. Now, here's another question that comes in, in this trading. You know, how do you effectively stay in a trade that you've already um, shown that's one, but it shows that it stops here? Now, is this market going to stop here, or is it going to go back up to here again? So. The only way that I know to be able to take on this particular trade is having one taken off at a profit target on observation and the other one just holding out for that great big movement that may happen using this right here to offset this move itself. Now what you need to be able to do when you're taking on that trade is try to take out on your winning when you can take out more on your winning side of that first half of the trade or two thirds of the trade. The best way I think that you can trade multiple contracts by the way just go MC is in a series of three where you take two off at the hair profit target, in other words, that here, and you let the one or the other one trail. Uh, you can't do that in 30k account. And in fact, for the most part, top step trader with their max daily loss and all the other things that go behind that really doesn't give you the ability to trade a multiple contract scenario, um, especially as it relates to 30k and 50k account. Um, anyway, so I thought I would just finish with that conversation that we had, and uh, I appreciate the, you know, uh, there's there's lots of things that, that that as a person of observation and a person of faith that I have a lot of questions about, and there's a lot of things that you just simply don't have the answer and will never have the answer because either it's been hidden um, or the powers to be. If they wanted to prove the earth is round and just put everybody down and say, you know what, they have had their opportunity over and over and over again to disprove it, to take some of the flat earthers up to the space shuttle, up to the International Space Station, take some of them up there with them, and then come back and say, you know what, it is round. Uh, I mean, and then let them bring their equipment with them to say, all right, we don't, you have a fisheye lens, so therefore we're going to see what's true and what is not. These are things that continues to be covered up continues to be shown in, 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 in false light. We don't have answers to. I don't know. Personally, I'm not going to lose my, my sleep over things that I don't know and don't understand. 
just like I do in trading. I'm not going to worry about the move that I missed from here to here. I, I wish I would have been able to stay in it, but I did not know how far this was going to retrace. It could have easily, at the point, decided to retrace all the way back here to my entry point, and therefore, I don't get the 25 ticks. This is what the market would have, should have, and could have done. It could have went all the way back up here to the entry point and busted up and through, and I get a big flat zero on one contract trading. This part of the trade is only the observable fact of this trade is I have a plan to take it on, but not as it relates to top step trader. The way that I want to take it on is like I talk about a series of three contracts where I take two off and let one ride. And all that is just telling me is it's still odds. The odds of this happening are not happening. Another observable fact, we see volume on the red side coming in right here. Is this going to be the end of the down move before it starts retracing back up? Possibly. Or possibly not. Uh, there's, no, there's nothing hard in science and rule that you can say, this is what's going to happen every time in trading. <clears throat> You just play the odds the best you can. Now, perhaps if I was a smarter individual, I would have noticed, maybe in some time in life, I'll start noticing that this move right here up to the 200 line could have been a great place to re-enter the trade on one contract trading. But this is going to come from more observation on my side to justify renewing the trade on again. Sometimes I do take it on again. But what we did is we busted this just a little bit, right? I like that first retest of the pivot point, and then it proves that it wants to come down. Well, that's an observable fact that sometimes it goes above the pivot point by a few ticks, and then it continues the move that it was originally going. This is just observation once again being played out in reality. All right, that's enough preaching for the day. Enough observation versus fact. Um, the point being is that I, I went on to talk about, <clears throat> in the end, I said, when you throw out your medical terminology terms and say that this something blah 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 steroid has shown effective, well, if he would have led with, for instance, this asthma medicine that was from Odessa, Texas, or, or you know, has shown effective in in, in this, which is this form of this something something steroid, then we would have had common ground where we could have said, hey, oh, thanks. But no, he attacked. This is the, the, the way, unfortunately, those that are so centered, so far left, they, they go into this attack mode and they, they just pretty much throw everyone under the bus. Either you believe what I believe and if you don't, well, you're an idiot. That doesn't make it so. For instance, I believe that black lives matter. I'm going to say it. I believe that black lives matter, but I also believe that all lives matter. White, black, brown, yellow, orange, green, doesn't matter. All lives matter. What I don't believe in the BLM movement is the Marxist philosophies that is a core belief center and also destroying the nuclear family unit. In other words, the, the, the husband, wife, family unit. That you let the state raise the kids. This is 
observable fact based upon what the BLM, Black Lives Matter movement, has shown in its own documents. But I do believe that Black Lives Matter, that White Lives Matter, that Yellow Lives Matter, basically all lives matter. You know, it's been said better than me that Jesus, all of Jesus' people lives matter. All of God's children matter. We all matter. Not just one, not just some, all. All lives matter. And does that make me a racist, a fascist, um, and all the other terms that they use to show their ignorance and just basically hardcore the other side of the people to, to, to say, you know what, there's no common ground here. You're coming from an area that you're saying that this is truth, where there is no truth. You know, democracy, America, um, founding fathers, uh, the, the, the Bill of Rights, the Declara Declaration of Independence, Dec the, the, the Declaration of Independence, the, um, the amendments that we have, the U.S. Constitution. You're just throwing everything out and everything under the bus that doesn't believe in what you believe. Do I believe slavery Slavery is bad? Certainly. I'm from the South. My family fought on the Southern side. Am I going to put my crucifix up on the Confederate flag? I appreciate the Confederate flag, the battle flag that's called. That wasn't a form of slavery. People died under this flag. My my great 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 grandfathers died under the flag, but am I going to martyr myself over a symbol that some people look as a hatred racist symbol? No. Why? Because the Bible talks about those that don't eat meat don't show that don't eat meat in front of them. Basically, right? It it, it shows that that we we can disagree on some things. I can love the Confederate flag based upon my own observations of what I believe in, but also love other people that hate what the Confederate flag means as well. Why? Because each of us have a core belief center that we believe in. I believe that, that, that most people that fought from the South did so because they're here. They're here in our land and we will fight for our land. They didn't care whether there was a slave country or not country. They fought because you're here, you're trying to kill my people. And that's pretty much what all wars are started on. Most people will fight to save the land that they live on. Why did so many people follow Hitler? I don't know. But if you look back at World War I and what they did with the Treaty of Versailles, they pretty much set up World War II and allowed a person like Hitler to rise to power. And if we don't follow the wisdom of our past and we repeat it again, there will be another person that rises up just like Hitler that will kill millions and millions of people. And that's just the way it is. I wish it wasn't the way it is, but over and over again, we've shown, uh, for instance, why are the Hebrew people, the Israelites, the original people that God said, these are my children, and Abram was put forth and given the promise, and he says, and God says, I will not call you Abraham because your descendants will be more than the stars in the sky and the heavens above. But why is it that this race of people are continually persecuted and called, and, and, are they, or, and then there's anti-Semites that say these are bad people. Jesus himself was a Jew, raised as a Jew. He was basically of the 12 tribes of Israel. He is a person that, frankly, you look up and you say, all right, you believe it or you don't. Okay. Was he white with blue eyes? No. He was Middle Eastern looking, 
uh, from the area of where he was from. He wasn't black. Was he black? I don't know. No one was there. Was he Chinese looking? No. But we can descend, but we can put together by observable fact is most likely he looked Middle Eastern of those people in that region that are her, that are from that area. That's what we can observe. And that's what we can say, well, this is most likely what he looked like. Now, with that being said, why is it that 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 over the years there have been purges of the Jewish population? The late, latest purge being uh, the, the German purge and the Russian purge that happened. Why is it? Well, it um, personally, here's my belief center. It's because they have not uh, said that Jesus is the Messiah and he, God being God, has disciplined his children over and over again, hoping that they will eventually come to a conclusion. Now, he's the one that says that I'll never tempt people, but he's allowed them, excuse me. He, God has allowed them to be persecuted because that's how much hate that, unfortunately, Satan has for them. He wants to eliminate it. I believe that Satan and the demons could kill them all. They would. If he could figure out a way to kill, actually, if he could take us all uh, without any of us getting to heaven, that would be his grand plan, right? But what we do know, an observable fact, once again, is the Germans, uh, uh, the Nazi organization, killed National Socialist Movement, right? Killed over six million of, of people of Jewish, um, roughly of Jewish faith. But the Russians, which do, do go down in history, put down and Stalin himself puts down about 18 million supposedly but who gets vilified who gets thrown under the bus well both of them should be vilified and thrown under the bus but that's not the way history was is written ever history is always written from those that have won not from those that have lost <clears throat> and these once again, are all observable facts that you can say, and we can, and we can claim that this is true. But in the end, were we there? Did we bleed and die? No. I mean, there's so many things that 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 the older I get, unfortunately, the more that I seem to not know. But I think that's wisdom speaking. Wisdom eventually allows you to say, you know what, it's okay to not know everything and still be okay. You, you're going to have, and maybe that's the greatest gift of trading and, and as, as a trader, as you live in the unknown, you, you do not know if the next tick is going up or down, and all you can do is observe in the past what this pattern has shown and what it did. And you can go back and say, well, if I would have done this, then this would have happened. But if I didn't do this, then that would have happened. But in the moment, what you don't know for an absolute certainty is your side of the trade is going to pay off or lose money. So in other words, are you going to win it or lose it? All you have is your percentages and your odds and your patterns and your technical abilities and your own intelligence and experience that shows you what's right and what's wrong as time moves on. So that's experience and wisdom speaking of 53 years of life. And um, I thought I'd just share because, well, you know, frankly, it's been it's been kind of nice just to be able to to speak from the heart for a little bit. Now, I know most of you will ignore what I say here. But I wanted to get that out today and just talk because, you know, those that are so hard line left are just as bad as those that are hard lined right. My dad, who was the wisest person that I knew, based upon my own experience, always said, son, there's their side of the truth, your side of the truth. But the truth really lies in the middle. And there's a lot of wisdom in that statement. In other words, 
people are going to believe what they believe. But the truth usually is somewhere in the middle of that. All right. That's it for now. If I see anything else I want to talk about, I'll make a new video. Otherwise, have a great rest of your day. We see that we had two trades on plus 25 ticks uh, after day two here in FTP. Bye for now.